So good afternoon. My name is Deline Allen, Executive Director of BNI. What is that? Business Network International, the world's largest business referral organization. And back in the very beginning, Canada was the first subsidiary. The company started in the U.S. And you are looking at the person that thanks to her, BNI was a huge success in Atlantic Canada. This is Mary Ann Marriott, Allen Marshall and Associates. Take it away. Hi, Daylene. Thank you. Um, first of all, I want to say that I couldn't be more thrilled than um, you stepping into to B and I. Uh, you're just you're such a perfect fit for it. I mean, I I just love what you're doing with B and I. So um, so yeah, I, I got involved. I actually got involved in B and I. Let's see if I could trace this back. Um, in, it was like 98, I'm going to say. So I was working in the insolvency industry at the time and a very good friend of mine invited me to a networking event and it was b &I chapter that was starting out. Um, I mean, I was, you know, goodness gracious, mid twenties, you know, pretty new to all of this. And I remember going to this meeting and sitting around this boardroom table, terrified. Um, and I had to get up and speak, which was, you know, are you freaking crazy? Are you kidding me that I have to get up and actually speak in front of people? And, uh, and I did, and I, it was just something about the, the process and the structure and it, that I, I have to say it really, um, ignited something in me. So I ended up becoming, um, a member of that that new group and uh, and we chartered so at that time um, it was in the US it had just come to Canada not very long after that and uh, and so they had they had a, a director in place and the, the director ended up leaving or whatever happened they weren't the director anymore uh, and so they reached out to me as about six or eight months in they reached out and asked if I was interested I still thought they were all crazy and uh, anyway I said yes and so I started doing, um, I was a director part-time. So I was working in the insolvency industry. I was doing that part-time. I was going to meetings, I was promoting it. And, uh, and so much happened during that. I mean, it just, you know, I, I started to become more comfortable talking about who I was and what I was doing, which was just, um, just, you know, it, it, looking back, it was just honestly one of the biggest benefits of being involved in BNI. Uh, anyway, I could probably talk for an hour, but I won't. But uh, so I ended up being director. Um, I, lo I, I loved it so much. I joke with that, you know, that phrase. Um, I loved it so much. Or I, I oh my gosh, seriously. Um, <laughs> I bought the company, you know, the old ad. I can't remember the exact words. Anyway, I loved it so much that I decided I was going to do it full time. So I actually left, left my, my job and uh, I did BNI full time for seven years. Um, best time of my life. Looking back, what I gained from that, the connections, the relationships, the personal growth, the professional growth, um, what I learned, it opened me up to public speaking, which I absolutely love to do now. Um, so much growth and development. It, you know, generated money for my business. I was doing kind of various um, personal things at the time. And, uh, and actually leaving that post was really difficult for me. Um, it wasn't a decision I made lightly. I had two small children. The breakfast meetings were becoming challenging. And uh, so I decided that it was time for me to make a change. And that was the last involvement I had with BNI until you picked it up. And, uh, and I ended up coming back. And of course, when you reached out and you know, I went to a meeting like I just, it, you know, it's just, it's my old flame. So um, I'm just so thrilled to be back. I'm so thrilled to see chapters growing across um, the province and uh, seeing people starting to connect again in such a beautiful structured way. Exactly. Well, and um, for many of us, especially we're, we're now in the middle of COVID-19 and we need to support each other now more than ever. I mean, Nova Scotia is an aging population and we need to support what businesses that we have here in Atlanta, Canada, and we need to bring new businesses here to, to grow. And I believe there's room for everybody, but more now more than ever, we need to support one another. And I'm hoping that when we come out of this shutdown, lockdown, whatever we're calling, it that we will be kinder to each other that we will be more supportive because I truly believe there's room for all of us and certainly BNI's principle of givers gain is a great way to not only live your life but to build the business isn't it Mary Ann? oh absolutely and you know and I love the way that BNI responded to this in the online meetings and even though you know I'm such a, a 
you know, face to face, touchy feely, like to be in the space of people. Um, you know, I, I, we switched very quickly to video meetings. I mean, it's still so wonderful to have that touch point to know, you know, what are people doing? What's happening out there? Where do they need our support? We're sharing stuff on social media about each other um, just because we want to reach out and help. So, you know, I could think of a member whose shop is still open. They're doing, um, you know, pickups in their, in their parking lot. And you know we're able to promote that, and I just I just think that's so wonderful that we're able to come together in you know a slightly different way with what's happening, but still really step forth and you know help one another and give you know under the giver's name philosophy. Yep, and um, I have to brag on Marianne because Ivan Miser, Dr. Ivan Miser, is the gentleman who founded BNI, and Marianne has certainly met him. But uh, one of the first books he ever wrote about BNI and the philosophy of our seven core values, starting with Giver's Game, Marianne was somebody he noted in the book that had done something that no one else in North America at the time had done. You want to share about your business trade shows? Yeah. So, um, oh my gosh, it was, I, you're taking me back like a memory lane here. Um, and I, you know, I, I actually went to four conferences in California and, and, you know, listened to and met, uh, Dr. Weisner and, uh, several across Canada and met uh, just such a great group of people. Um, and, you know, and I really, B and I really fostered that in me. So yeah, one of the, one of the things that, uh, that we did, I'm going to say we, cause I connect it with, um, we had a joke going at the time that he was the networking king and I was the networking queen. This is Matt Whitman, who of course is our, our counselor uh, now and running for mayor. And uh, so so Matt and I were heavy in the networking industry. And I have to also bring in my, my friend Melody into this because she was like, um, she was a networking queen, but she went in a different direction. So she gave me a crown and she introduced me to BNI. and i So uh, anyway, Matt and I did something called networking extravaganza. And um, so we got a room at the uh, Westin Hotel and we opened it up and we just had this huge um, networking event and it was kind of the basis and the foundation of it was BNI members. And we did all these other kind of mini ones with the groups as well, but that was kind of the real, you know, highlight uh, event that we did. So it was really cool to get recognized for that. Um, another thing that, that happened as a result of that, this was a group of BNI members and it was spearheaded by another, you know, guru of mine, Jim Caradine, uh, is we all came together and we brought um, Stephen Covey to Halifax. And so it was the first time that he had ever been in Halifax and the last time, and we had him at the Metro Center. And I mean, this all came from, you know, networking and collaboration and, you know, coming together. So, which was- And supporting one another. another that, that was- that must have been the biggest thrill, was it? Yeah, that was that was pretty awesome because we are I mean, we're huge fans of his, and I mean, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. We were in a business uh, group where we supported a mastermind group, and I mean, that was our our bible, and we were you know living it and breathing it and implementing it. And um, and and the reason he came, which is a funny little side story, is that one of the BNI members, Maureen, her daughter, who was quite young at the time. Um, I think said something like, you know, why has he never come to Halifax? And she was like, I don't know, six or seven. And she was our, she was our little seed that got planted. And then from that, we created this uh, event, which was pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. So thank you to Marianne Marriott for helping grow BNI uh, in Nova Scotia again. She's with Alan Marshall and Associate. A uh, an associates, a pro in her her field, and a great uh, leader of a BNI Bedford business uh, builders in Bedford. And Marianne, I appreciate you so much and your expertise, but most of all, your heart. And Aww. that's a big part of what BNI is all about. When we uh, when we care, it sure makes a difference. And now more than ever, we need to be doing more of that. But anyway. Thank yeah. you. Any last things that you want to share? Uh, well, just thank you for resurrecting BNI locally and giving me the opportunity to come back into that. It feels like I'm coming home and uh, and just loving it. So um, no, just you know, anyone looking for a way to you know grow their business, but it's really so much more than that. Like get in touch with Daylene, contact her, have a conversation, have a coffee. You will not be disappointed. Oh, thank you so much.